Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. The subject for the day is Community Health Nursing Mnemonics. Topic for the discussion, Determinants of Health or Factors Influencing Health. Determinants of Health. Health is multifactorial. Some are internal factors, some are external factors. Internal factors are genetic or intrinsic factors. External factors are our surrounding or environment. Interaction of these factors may be health promoting or deleterious of our health. Second, common determinants of health. The mnemonic I have been set here is health sign depends social and health services. Health sign depends social and health services. Let us expand. H stands for human biology. E stands for environment. A stands for aging, L stands for law of equity and social justice, T stands for technology and science, H stands for human right, S stands for socio-economic determinants, I stands for information, education, communication, that is IEC, G stands for gender, N stands for normal behavior, social stands for socio-cultural. Health services stands for health services. So the mnemonic is health sign depends social and health services. Let us expand in detail. There are 12 uh, determinants or major determinants or factors influencing our health. First one is human biology. Second one is environmental determinants. Third one aging. Fourth one law of equity and social justice. Fifth one technology and science. Sixth factor is human right. The seventh factor is socio-economic determinants or condition. Eighth factor is IEC. Ninth factor is gender. Tenth factor is normal behavior. Eleventh factor is socio-cultural determinants. Last twelfth factor is health services. Let us explain in detail. First factor is human biology. Biological determinants are the primary determinants of health. Biological determinants are the primary determinants of health. Main biological factors are endogenous and exogenous. Endogenous includes genetic heritage and passive immunity. Exogenous are other living things which influence our health. The physical and mental trains of every human being are determined by the nature of the genes at the moment of conception. The genetic makeup is unique, it cannot be altered after conception. So, genetic makeup is unique, it cannot be altered. A number of diseases are now known to be genetic origin, such as chromosomal anomalies, error of metabolism, mental retardation, some types of diabetes, etc. The medical genetics offers hope for prevention and treatment and the prospect of better medicines, longer and healthier life. Health of the person also influenced by our age, race and self-concept of an individual. Second main factor is environmental determinants. Environment is mainly classified into internal or micro environment and external or macro environment. Internal or micro environment includes every cell, tissue, organ and system of our body. External or macro environment is again classified into three physical, biological and social or psychosocial. Physical includes air, water, soil, etc. Biological environment includes plants, animals, microbes, etc. Social or psychosocial environment includes our culture, our beliefs, traditions, etc. Any or all of this environment can affect the health of a man and his susceptibility to illness. The third factor is aging. Aging leads geriatric problems with increased prevalence of chronic diseases and disabilities. The issues in geriatrics are physical issues, physiological issues, pharmacological issues, psychological issues, social issues, financial issues, and ethical and legal issues. In another context, aging of the population, by the year 2025, the world may have more than 1 billion people aged 60 and over. More than two-thirds of them living in the developing countries. Therefore, aging process needs a special attention. The fourth factor which influences our health is 
law of equity and social justice law of equity and social justice means equal distribution of health education and health services to the, all the people irrespective of their caste religion that means there would not be any discrimination when providing or when rendering health education and health services to the public fifth factor is technology and science science and technology or advanced science and technology have a positive impact and negative impact among the human being positive impacts are increased standard of living and quality of life the negative impacts of advanced technology and science are stress and tensions addictions substance abuse cancer death etc which are increased in count the sixth factor which influences our health is human right health is considered as a fundamental right of an individual and health services it is a responsibility of the government nowadays it is a responsibility of the government at the same times it is a responsibility of an individual and moreover community participation or community involvement are very necessary to achieve the health services seventh factor is socio economic condition health is primarily depend upon the level of socio economic development for example per capita income gross net profit education nutrition employment housing and political system of the country socio economic conditions includes economic status education nutrition occupation and political system economic status the per capita gnp is the most widely accepted measure of general economic performance the economic progress is a major factor in reducing the morbidity mortality and increasing the life expectancy and the quality of life in many countries education education is the second major influencing factor the world map of illiteracy closely coincides with the maps of poverty malnutrition ill health high infant and child mortality rates education to some extent compensates the effects of poverty on health irrespective of the availability of health facilities nutrition nutrition is the other major influencing factor of our health poor nutrition may leads to malnutrition and increased mortality balanced nutrition of course it promotes the health of an individual the next factor is occupation unemployment leads a higher incidence of ill health and death loss of work may mean loss of income and loss of social status it can cause psychological and social damages the very state of being employed in productive work it promotes the health of an individual next is political system health is closely related to the political system of a country often the main obstacles to implementation of any health technologies are not technical rather it is political decision concerning resource allocation manpower policy choice of technology and the degree to which health services are made available and accessible to different segments of society are examples of the manner in which the political system can shape the community health services the next main factor is information education and communication iec information education and communication increase the awareness among the public towards the positive health thus iec promote the health of an individual next major factor is the gender men and women suffer from different types of disease at different age women is affected by gender difference nutrition and development violence social status economic independence especially during reproductive age in 1993 the global commission on women's health was established which enhanced women empowerment with the special schemes projects for the promotion and protection of the women the 10th major factor is normal behavior or behavioral determinants it includes the personal habits there are good habits and bad habits good habits like diet physical activity and practice of hand washing etc promote the health of an individual the bad habits such as smoking alcoholism substance abuse others which deteriorate the health of an individual 11th factor is socio cultural factors socio cultural factor or lifestyle depends on economic status that rich or poor cultural values that is vegetarianism or non vegetarianism and the social values that is the status of women lifestyle learned by observation of parents teachers peer groups mass media through social interactions lifestyle developed through process of socialization social interactions 
are called as traditional lifestyles. Lifestyles include cultural patterns, social values and our behavior. Many current health problems such as coronary heart disease, obesity, lung cancer, drug addictions, etc. are associated with the unhealthy lifestyle practices. Cultivating healthy lifestyle can promote the health of an individual. Lifestyle modification could be done with healthy habits that is express, exercise, personal hygiene, rest, early detection or regular health checkup, adequate sleep and stress reduction through yoga, meditation and other relaxation techniques. The last factor is health services. Health services should promote the health and prevent the illness. Example, through immunization of children, provision of safe drinking water, antenatal care will reduce MMR and IMR, maternal mortality rate and infant mortality rate. Health services must reach to all sections of the society. The availability and utilization of health services is more important. Health services should include comprehensive, it should be need-based and essential health services. It must reach the social periphery, it should be equally distributed, it should be accessible at affordable cost by an individual and it should be socially acceptable. Let us conclude that today we have been discussed about determinants of health. Health is multifactorial and there are many factors, both internal and external factors, which influence our health. There are mainly 12 factors we have discussed just now with the mnemonic of health sign depends social and health services. H stands for human biology, E stands for environment, A stands for aging, L stands for law of equity and social justice, T stands for technology and science, H stands for human right. S stands for socioeconomic determinants or condition, I stands for IEC, G stands for under, N stands for normal behavior, social stands for socio-cultural practices, health services stands for health services. Thanks for watching. If you feel this video is worth, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy till we meet with another important educational video. Thank you.